Yo, what's good everyone? Wesley Paul here back once again and today we are going to be looking at using custom templates in NPC Beats or NPC software. So once again, this is going to be mostly aimed towards beginners and new users of the software. So if you are more experienced, this one may not be for you, but feel free to stick around if you want to. Let's have a look. So on the screen here, you can see I have a custom template loaded up. Now, one of the, well, probably the most benefit of using a custom template is it will speed up your workflow, okay? And it can do that in many, many different ways. So when I make beats, I tend to follow the same formula. And what I mean by that is on each, um, I'll have, each track would be the same no matter what beat it is. So like track one would always have my drums, track two would always have my main melody, track five has always got my bass and so on. And that is reflected here in my template. So everything's all named for me, exactly named how I want it to be. I know where everything is. Yeah, that's one great thing. Another great thing about using a custom template is if you remember in a previous video we spoke about um what with your drums and like gain staging so like the basic uh, mixing techniques so what you can actually do is like if i come over to my drum mixer here as you can see on my custom template i've already changed the levels of of some of my pads now, this isn't going to be perfect. It's not as though, you know, I've pre-mixed, so I would never have to mix it. But at least um, all I would have to do now is fine-tune it. I still get a rough idea of what it will sound like. Yeah, so, because similarly, on my drum pad, so I follow a formula as well. So on pad one is always my kick. Um, two is always my snare and hat so I follow the same formula with my pads as well and that's why I was able to just like change the volume slightly on the mixer so when I'm playing it in like my hats won't I'm not, I'm not even going to play them into like they're already sort of turned down yeah that is another benefit of having it on um, have using a custom template and another video we spoke about using um return channels yep that is another um thing you can do as you can see i've already put reverb and delay here on my return channels on my custom template so i don't need to add them in every time now what you might be thinking now is so what i use the same reverb and delay on on every track and no, I don't. I don't use the same reverb and delay. What I've done is I've just put a basic one in there for now. So I use that as sort of a reference to hear what it would sound like with some reverb and some delay. And if I want to change it, I can. I don't lose any time by changing that reverb to a, a different one or that delay to a different one. It's the same amount of time as adding a new one or replacing what's already there. But what I've done is I've just well what you can do is whatever you use the most just put it on there yeah it will still end up saving you a little bit of time somewhere um and saying that going back to looking at our tracks here so if you're using npc beats you cannot um save like um like an effects rack yeah or effects chain but what you can do is have it on your custom template so on mine here i've got well on all of my tracks um, i know i'm going to use um compression and eq so on all of my tracks i've already got them on there so i don't need to load it in and I, I mostly use the same one which is my neutron um one I, i've got that on all of them because i'm more likely going to use that and then i've got some other um effects that i normally put on there See, they're turned off at the moment, so I'd play in my drums and then I could turn it on and tweak it. So it's just ones that I use most of the time. And once again, if I don't want to use them, I don't have to turn them on. Or if I want to use anything else, I just swap them out. I haven't lost any time whatsoever. And that goes um, for the rest of my tracks as well. So um, I might have effects on there that I would um, mostly use. 
And I don't have to use them if I don't want to. But I can. If I want to, they're already there. Another great thing about using custom templates is... So, I'm using MIDI, my MIDI keyboard here. Alright? So, I have custom mapped my MIDI keyboard to respond to the software how I want it to. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about this because this is where it gets a little bit more intricate and now we're talking about hardware and I mostly want to talk about software. But um, I'll show you something. So, if you look here, if I move this slider now, it will cycle through my tracks, right? If I press this button and now it's controlling the volume of that track yeah so when it comes to mapping there's two modes there's global and there's project global is what affects everything so no matter what track you loaded up it will affect that project is specific for that project so if you have a custom template you don't have to remap your MIDI keyboard on each specific project it's already done for you which will save you a hell of a lot of time um i know I'm, I'm not really explaining myself too well on this one but um i, I don't want to start like i said it gets a bit more intricate when you're talking about midi mapping but this alone so i like i said i can use this slider to do this at the moment i just press this button and then it does something else so i've got it to control my mixer if i was to go back into my mixer here i've got it so uh, let's just make that a bit bigger for you. I've got it so I can control my mixer. And then once I finish with that, if I don't want to do that, I just press the button and then it will do something completely different. Yep, another great thing to do. So, these are all great things that will help speed up your workflow. There are some key things to know whilst we're talking about mapping. It's only mapped like that because of the way I've got it set up. So, on like track two, I've got it. I've got it. Um, I have it on VST. So, I've got Analog Lab loaded up. So, if I didn't want to use Analog Lab, and if I didn't want to use a VST in it, and I wanted to use a key group, then I would have to remap it because the mapping is for the program. So if I use a key group now, then I'm not using a VST program, I'm using a key group program, so I would have to remap it. So bear that in mind. So again, although I've got Analog Lab loaded up every on my um, custom template, if I don't want to use that, I just change it out. That's fine. Again, I don't lose any time. And yeah, so these are the benefits of using a custom template. So I strongly recommend just trying it out. You don't have to do it, use it on every beat. You might um, use it on a lot of your beats and you might just decide one day and like, no, nah, I don't want to use my template. I'm just going to go from scratch. You can do that um, if you want to. Also, what I was going to do was I was going to just give you guys my custom template to just download and use. But then I thought if I do that, it's not really a custom template. You're just using my one. I don't want to take away from your view creating your own one exactly how you want to do it. So I think it will be more personal to you if, if you just do it, if you custom make it exactly how you want to. If you want to give yourself a little bit of a head start, just pick your probably your favorite beat that you've made or your beat what you've done a lot to on there. Just load it up, um, delete all the MIDI notes out, and then save that as your template. And if you want to know how to save a template, so when you go to save your project, um, it's got it right here where it says save as template. So you name it and you save it as template yeah just tick that also once you've saved your template th that's not the be all end all you might want to add some changes 
So even I've done that just before, um, before recording this video. I hadn't um, color-coded my drum pads. So I thought that would be a good touch. So I've literally just done that. And then I just saved over my template. So you're probably not going to get it perfect first time. So you can always just add to it as you go along. Just save over the, the other template. You can only have one template template saved at a time. Um, which, you know, would have been better if you could have different templates for like, you know, different occasions. But it is what it is. So hopefully I haven't missed anything. But those are just some great reasons to consider using a custom template i'm going to leave that one there thank you for watching take care peace out